Where do annuities fit in your portfolio? We're here with Stan the Annuity Man and he's going to tell us. I have a little bit different take than most people. I look at annuities as contractual guarantee transfer of risk products. There's four places they fit in your portfolio. The acronym is PIL. P is for principal protection. I is for income for life. L is for legacy. The other L is for long-term care. So principal protection, income for life, legacy, long-term care. Notice I didn't put growth in there. I think annuities should be transfer of risk products based on the contractual guarantees inside of the product. That's the reason we primarily work with fixed annuities because within your portfolio, you want to transfer that risk and not worry about the money going up or down with market volatility. Right, so you have a constant stream of income that you can always fall back on that you don't have to worry about and then you can use your other investments for some more risk capital or whatever you want to do. Correct. And, you know, some people are using um, these fixed annuities to cover for long-term care and control the money mm -hmm. in case long-term care is no longer, if, if health care legislation uh, you know, does that. You know, it's not just income. Annuities were developed for income, but if you want to just protect the principal, you can buy a fixed rate annuity that just pays a rate just like a CD. And also, too, from a legacy standpoint, if you want to leave money to your beneficiaries, a fixed annuity with a death benefit guarantee is a good way to transfer the risk, you know, get some growth in your portfolio that is contractually guaranteed. I think the mistake that's being made with people is they're buying, see, I tell people this, when you're buying an annuity, buy it for what it will do, not what it might do. What it will do is the contractual guarantees. What it might do is theoreticals and hypotheticals. Do not buy an annuity for a theoretical or hypothetical return. Buy it for the worst case scenario, contractual guarantee within that, within that contract. And within that context, what proportion do you usually see as far as you know, the investment of the annuity with, you know, versus outside the annuity? 20%, 10%? It, it totally depends on the person. I ask this person, all, uh, if I was sitting with you as a client, I'd say, listen, how much risk do you want to transfer? How much risk do you want to shoulder? Everyone has a different proportion there. There's a lot of people that's, that's thrown up their hands. They don't want the market, utility, market volatility anymore. They don't want to compete with the high velocity traders. They're like, Stan, I just want to protect my principal. I want income for life. I want to protect for long-term care. I'm done. Or we, I do have the guy that's a, a corn futures trader that says, Stan, I'm going to trade corn futures, but at the end of every year, I'm going to take profits off the table and put it in a transfer of risk product. I know that's going to be there. So it's, it, it goes across the spectrum. It just sure. kind of depends on how much risk you're willing to transfer, how much risk you're willing to shoulder. And, and as you said, it's, it's more important that you stick with why you're doing it and not the hope of doing it. Don't buy the annuities on hope. Again, buy them for what they will do, not what they might do. And so you'll never be disappointed. So you know, worst case scenario is what I show people. When I show people a product, I say, okay, here's, you know, and all of them have investment components inside of them. Sure. I show zero return. In other words, if the market does zero forever, right. this is what's going to happen. Make your decision on that. Don't make your decision on what if. And I think that's the reason that it works for my clients because there's no surprises. It's going to do what I said it's going to do. And if it's a little bit more with market performance, then great. Yeah, great. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching the MoneyShow.com video network.